You see, that's why those two aren't here in the kitchen with me right now. In fact, with me in the kitchen right now is Susie O'Regan. Now, we're going to talk about what to do after that big Christmas meal. So whether it's cheese or dessert, we want a really festive way of putting it all together. And Susie, you're the expert when it comes to it. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. This looks beautiful. It's almost intimidating because it looks like something out of a picture book. But how do you go on to select your cheeses for your cheese platter? Ilana, first of all, don't be intimidated. <laughs> it's very, very easy. So I've actually selected a few of our um, Christmas cheeses that we're la launching specifically for the Christmas period, mm -hmm. as well as some of our speciality cheeses, um, and then just really combine the most beautiful Christmas cheese wreath. Um, I've used uh, summer fruits, so lovely cherries and raspberries and blueberries, and just really compiled it all together, and it really does look beautiful. I must say, I never thought of putting rosemary together with cheese, so we call them our seasonal favourites. I mean, you pointed out the fruit already, but you didn't just splatter them all over your platter. You also, what did you do to the cherries? Um, well, I actually dusted them with a little bit of gold dust, which is also available in Woolworths. So literally take your cherries or your raspberries mm -hmm. with a little brush. And you just paint them. And just them. paint them on. Whoops, a little bit messy, but no, that's the fun of it great. all. It great. Listen, it looks And divine. then, um, yeah, it just looks great. Now, okay, we have our cheeses. How do we then accompany our cheeses? I see that the camembert, um, camembert is with, 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 um, with a sauce. I see that everything's got a fig preserve. How do you know what to put with what? Well, really, it's quite easy this year. We've taken two or three of our Christmas lions and we've actually given you a compote or a preserve to go with it. Ah, you've done so it for So literally, me. there's a double cream <laughs> camembert. Very easy, very convenient. That's what we love at Woolworths. Yeah. So it's a double cream camembert with a berry compote. It's got blueberries, cranberries, and lovely lemon zest in it. So decant that. And then here we have a traditional camembert with melon preserve and figs and a lovely melon muscadel preserve. dressing. Oh, it um, looks amazing. And then, of course, here is a beautiful Christmas cheese cracker. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, cream cheese with watermelon preserve and figs. And we've given you two little fruit strips that you put on the end and then just a cherry in the middle. And there's your cheese cracker. To make it look good. Now, you've showed me the pairings that you've done for Christmas. Then you've showed me what you normally have, the select and, uh, selection of cheeses. These are new? Yes. I haven't seen the preserve. No, they are very new. We actually launched those about three weeks ago. And we developed them specifically with each cheese type. So, for instance, if you look at the glacé fruit, it says perfect with all cheeses. Ah, yes, and right, the yes. orange and cardamom and ginger is perfect with blue cheeses. So, um, if customers could just actually read the label and have a look and see what it is. No, I like this one. I don't have to read. I just take that one and <laughs> I put it all together. Okay, so how do we put it all together? Show me how. So, I just selected um, a range of 8 or 12 cheeses. Obviously, as I said, Christmas is about entertaining, lots of people around, lots of partying and festivity. You don't necessarily have to have this at the end of a meal. You can really just do it at a, a drinks party or anything like that. And I've just chosen a few different, so hard cheese, blue cheese, some cheeses with beautiful festive flavours in them, mango and ginger and berries, um, and then just put it all together on the board. It's really festive and beautiful. And I mean, I remember as a child, we used to do a cracker with a little bit of cheese on top, but this just takes it to a whole nother level. Do you do with wine the same you do with cheese? I mean, do you uh, literally pair or put together uh, how many guests you have per cheese? Yeah, um, look, you can keep it as simple as you like. Um, generally on a cheese board, you'd put a cheese from each cheese type. So right, it's right, a right. hard, blue, semi-hard or soft. So effectively, you would start with maybe four cheeses and then just build onto that. Um, I often include something that's just got some lovely flavors in it, like the mango and ginger, as I said. And then there are some real traditional cheeses that you just can't leave out, like a blue Stilton um, or a vintage cheddar. Mm. So just really trying to find flavors that work for everybody around the table. Well, you just did it for me. Merry Christmas and thank, thank you. you very much. This is beautiful. One way to entertain, whether it's for dessert or a main meal, or even after the main meal, this just is one of the ways to decorate your cheese board for this festive season. Susie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, if you think that this is madly beautiful, there is a mad show lying ahead for us. 15 days of madness. Leanne, what you got?